Hey friend, Michael McCurry here. Thank you so much for joining me for Bible Tracked Echoes. We are past Christmas, but it's okay. If your Christmas tree is still up, if your Christmas lights are still up, it's all right. We've only got 11 more months until the Christmas season, right? That's what I try to tell my wife, but she doesn't buy it. She wants them down within a week of Christmas, basically before the new year. And so we, of course do what our wife asks us to do, right? Happy wife, happy life. No, in all seriousness, she wants to reset the house and it looks beautiful every season that she does. And I'm thankful for it. But for those of you tuning in today, and as we are just passing Christmas, I hope you are still stuffed. I hope there are many leftovers in your fridge. I hope you've had a wonderful time. I want to thank each and every one of you for your faithfulness to listen into this broadcast. Those of you that are able to listen on a routine basis throughout this year, I am so very grateful for each and every one of you. Today and this week on the broadcast, we're going to take a quick peek in the rear view mirror. We are so blessed with what God has done to this point at Bible Tracks Incorporated, and I'd like to share a little bit about this. Uh, We do something like this uh, about four times a year, and we're going to take a quick review of our latest newsletter. God has truly been kind. He's been gracious. He's blessed. And as we are about to close one year and open another one, I want to reflect on the fact that this will be the end of my fourth year at Bible Tracks Incorporated. Truly, that's boggling, mind-boggling to me. Uh, For someone who is, for the most part, pretty unflappable, it causes me to pause. It makes me think, I am starting my fifth year at the helm of this ministry. We're grateful, truly grateful, because, of course, without God, but without the partners like you that he allows to come alongside and support this ministry, we would not be who we are. And so, with that thought in mind, this opening article says this, We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And now, as we are past Christmas and into the Happy New Year part, listen in. Dear friends, as the glow of the Christmas season surrounds us, my heart is full with gratitude and a renewed sense of purpose. I recall the words of Philippians 4, 6, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. What a poignant reminder for each of us of the power of prayer. This season provides an exceptional exceptional backdrop for reflecting on the many blessings God has bestowed upon us. As we at Bible Tracks Incorporated gather, looking back on the past months and, of course, recently celebrating the birth of our Savior, I am profoundly thankful for our incredible team. On the cover of this newsletter, you will see a photo capturing the faces of the BTI family, individuals dedicated to ensuring the gospel reaches every corner of the earth. And let me pause here for those of you listening in on the radio, I'd love to show you this picture. Maybe if you'd like, send me a text. I'll, I'll give you my text number in just a moment. I'd love to share uh, share this picture with you. It's a great picture, has the entire current staff on it, and we're so grateful, all of us with our children as well, and uh, what a blessing. But continuing here, music has always been a significant part of my life. This year, I poured much of my heart into crafting a solo CD titled For His Glory, inspired by my most treasured values, faith, family, and my calling as a preacher of the gospel. This album stands as a testament to the glory, not of me, but to our Heavenly Father. As a small token of appreciation for your continued support and in the spirit of Christmas, I'd love to share this passion project with you. For every donation to BTI, if you listen to this for a moment, for every donation to BTI this December, we are still in December, though we may be past Christmas, we will send you a complimentary copy of For His Glory as a little bit of a gift to you. It's my way of saying thank you. I pray it will uplift and draw you closer 
to God. May this season remind us of the most precious gift ever given, our Savior, Jesus Christ. May we continue striving in all that we do to live truly and solely for his glory. And again, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If you'd like to get a direct link where you can find that CD, of course, as I said, basically by donation, or maybe you'd like that picture of our staff, just shoot me a text. Tell me what you'd like. And uh, my phone number, you can text me at is 309 316 Zero. Let me give that to you one more time. 309-316-7240. Now, for those of you listening in, you may know as of recently, my wife and I spent some time in Kenya. And I'm excited in the coming year, uh, very soon in the coming year, to talk much more about this. But here's a little bit of a, a plea that I put into the newsletter that tells you more about what we're doing there. It says this, First, let me express my profound gratitude to each of you who have supported our international projects in the past. Your commitment and generosity have enabled us to take the gospel to numerous corners of the globe. Yet, as we look toward 2024, a fresh pressing need has arisen, and we're praying earnestly for the Lord's provision and guidance. As you listen to this right now, my wife and I got back from Kenya, back to the good old U.S. of A. not that long ago, and we were there to witness God's incredible work firsthand and to make crucial decisions regarding our next massive printing project. With rising costs challenging, uh, we aim to make informed and wise choices on how best to provide high-quality gospel tracts for our Kenyan brothers and sisters, and may I also say, for our brothers and sisters in Christ all over the world, not just in Kenya. But we take very seriously our mandate to be wise stewards of God's people's money. We want to stretch every dollar for the gospel's sake. The area of Kenya we are focusing on, it's buzzing with spiritual expectancy. An incredible mobilization of Kenyan Christians is underway, and they have a burning desire to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. These faithful believers are eager to share their faith, yet they need the tools to do so effectively. We have a staggering, get this, staggering 40-plus churches full of Kenyan Christians waiting, ready, and willing to distribute these life-changing gospel tracts. We're faced, though, with a monumental task to meet this need and continue our tradition of providing top-tier gospel literature. We require support, both in prayer and in resources. While the exact costs are still being calculated, we anticipate the expenses will reach tens of thousands of dollars, but we know God is able. If the Lord burdens your heart to support this endeavor, there's multiple things you can do. Of course, you can pray for us, and we would love for you to do that. But you could also call us at 309-828-6888 to process a phone donation. That's 309-828-6888. Or, as I said, you could text me, 309 316 Seven two four zero. I'll give you that number one more time. You can text me, you can call us, you can send me an email, Micah, M-I-C-A-H, at BibleTracksInc.org. But you can text me at 309-316-7240. Every prayer, every cent, every shared testimony propels this ministry forward. And we'd love for you to join us as we strive in this pivotal chapter to equip these Kenyan saints with the tools they need to reach the lost. I would ask you to consider, realize, I speak about money bluntly fairly rarely on this radio broadcast. And I realize we're past Christmas now, and you say uh, that Christmas, that was the time to strike where the iron was hot. Uh, you know, talk about it during Christmas. Can I tell you, I believe God can provide anytime he wants to. 
And uh, though I know we are past Christmas, and I realize many of you spent hearty, hefty amounts of money on different things for Christmas, it's not been an easy economy. I get all those things. But God still owns the cattle on a thousand hills. And I'd ask you, if the Lord's laying on your heart to partner with us for this specific endeavor, I'd love for you to do so. We would love to band together and to print many hundreds of thousands, if not even a million plus gospel tracts that the Lord would provide to be distributed all across Kenya. Millions of people there, millions of souls, millions of needs for the gospel. So I'd ask you, if you would, to consider partnering with us today. Maybe you've never partnered with us before. We had someone reach out recently. They gave a small gift for them and asked, uh, I need to know more about you, though. And we had the opportunity to talk on the phone for a good long while and explain the ministry, the 80-year, 85, I should say, 85-year ministry that we have here at Bible Tracks Incorporated, the legacy, the, uh, the care that we put into accounting for every cent. Did you know that we undergo a self-induced, if you will, audit, not by the IRS, but by an accounting firm, an independent accounting firm, every single year? It's something that we probably should mention more often for those that are wondering about the checks and balances. We are very big on accountability. We are very big on being good stewards of God's money, of God's people's money. And so every single year, we have a report done. We have our normal accountants that work with us throughout the year, but we have an independent accounting agency. Their only relationship with us is we ask them to do an independent audit of us every single year. And they double check the other accountant's work. They double check our work. They double check everything that we do. And they can identify any mistakes or errors or anything like that, though, of course, those are very rare and far and few between. But they're able to identify and ask questions, see, why is this the way that it is? And figure out it just allows one more layer of accountability in addition to all of the rigorous checks and balances we already have because we want to make sure that when we stand before God, he can say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Lord, help us. If we were to willingly, willfully, or it's almost honestly worse to just by negligence, not necessarily willfully, but just because you were too lazy to do a good job for us to waste God's money. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that to you. And so I'd ask you, if you would, to consider partner with us, whether it be for Kenya or maybe another project God's laid on your heart. We would love for you to help us this year. My name is Micah McCurry. This has been Bible Track Echoes. We're going to talk a little bit more about what God is doing through this ministry in the very near future. I'd ask you to tune in. You can find the podcast, the archive versions of this broadcast. If you'd like to listen to previous broadcasts on your favorite podcast player. Thank you so very much for listening today. My prayer as always is that you have a great day for his glory. And God bless.